All right, so the Extreme Z Awakening details for the AGL tier list have officially dropped. So in today's video, we're gonna find out exactly how much better this guy's gonna be post EZA. So with that said, let's uh, jump right into it, starting here with the pre-Extreme Z Awakening details for comparison purposes. His current leader skill is Movie Boss's Category Key Plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 150%, or Extreme Class Key Plus 3. HP attack and defense plus 50%, super attack, immense damage with a medium chance to stun the enemy, and passive is all allies key plus 3, and attack plus 40%, super class enemies attack minus 15%, and activate the fruit of the tree of might boost when conditions are met, and the boost conditions are 25% chance to activate fruit of the tree of might boost for 3 turns when HP is 80%. Or below so yeah that is the tier list without the easy a as you can see his passive is very very basic but it was actually amazing at the time because we had never seen a support unit provide this much key and this much attack and now of course these days support passive like this are fairly common although more specific to like certain categories like you know gifted warriors or goku's family and so on and so forth but it's just not that crazy for a unit to provide key plus 3 and attack plus 40%. So back in the day, this was fine, this was good, but now we need more, right? We need the unit to do some damage and also be able to get some defense, which is a huge liability for this unit on harder events where I want to use him for the support, like for pure Saiyans, for example, but his defense is just so awful that I can't bring him because... He's gonna get me killed on the Legendary Goku event, Legendary Vegeta event, uh, Extreme Super Battle Road, and so on and so forth, right? So with that said, let's jump over to the EZA details. New leader skill will be Movie Boss's Category Key plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 170%, or Extreme Class Key plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 100%. Super Attack raises Attack and Defense for one turn, causes immense damage with a medium chance to stun. So the chance to stun did not increase, it's still 30%, uh, but he does get additional attack and defense now on the super for one turn. And of course the leader skill is uh, much better as well. Some people were hoping for 180%, but honestly I'm not too surprised by uh, the 170%. Anyways, uh, the passive is attack and defense plus 160%. So this is up from zero. He wasn't getting any attack and defense before for himself. Now he's getting, well, I mean, technically he was getting the support part, but it wasn't much. So now he's getting 160% attack and defense for himself, and then all allies keep plus three, uh, attack plus 40%, and then all allies defense plus 40% when there is a super class enemy. So basically, if you're facing a super type enemy, then he's providing key plus 3 and attack and defense plus 40% for all allies. And then super class enemies attack minus 20%, activate fruit of the tree of might boost when conditions are met. And uh, the boost conditions are currently to be announced because they didn't include it in the Twitter reveal, but I'm going to assume it's going to remain the same. It's probably still going to be 25% chance to activate for 3 turns when the HP is 80%. Or below um, it could be maybe four turns or five turns or maybe uh, a higher chance but based on past easy A's with transformations they usually don't touch the uh, transformation condition so we'll see we'll see but I'm, I'm gonna say most likely it's gonna be the same okay so uh, let's pop over to the boosted turn list now with the fruit of the tree of might um, before the EZA, the super attack was immense damage with a high chance to stun the enemy, and passive was attack and defense plus 130%, recovers 15% HP, and super class enemies defense minus 80% at the start of turn. Now, with the EZA, he's getting 20% HP recovery, which is very good, attack and defense plus 200%, and then all allies keep plus 3 plus an additional defense plus 100% when there is a super class enemy, and then super class enemies defense minus 80%, and attacks effective against all types when HP is 80% or more. So, uh, yeah, just massive increases across the board. We get 5% more HP healing per turn, 
we get the attack and defense plus 200% compared to 130% before. And then he's also providing a little bit of support. That was an issue with the Turtles post transformation, right? Like you were using him for the support and he loses it after he transforms. But now he still has a bit of support. All allies keep plus three. And then he's getting 100% more defense when you're facing super class. And uh, the attacks effective against all types when HP is 80% or more is really gonna help his uh, damage output. So, um, you know, I don't really have anything negative to say about the ZZA, man. It looks really, really good to me. Oh, I forgot. Um, important thing, super attack now raises attack and defense. So it actually stacks with every super, causes immense damage with a high chance to stun the enemy. So uh, that's also really good. So let's say you have him transformed for three turns, right? And you launch two to three supers. That's going to be two to three stacks of attack and defense that will carry over to the uh, normal state, the untransformed state, right? So um, that's also amazing. So yeah, just a really, really good easy A all around, guys. The only negative I can say, or the only you know, potential criticism you could have for this EZA, I feel like, is, you know, there are some conditions and they're specifically against super class enemies. So if you're not facing super class, then you'll lose the, uh, you know, 100% additional defense here. You'll also not be debuffing the enemy's defense. And uh, in his pre transformation, you're also not going to be getting the defense plus 40% support for all allies. So that's a little bit unfortunate, but. Um, even without that, I think he's still very good, but of course he's even better if you're facing super class enemies, right? And uh, in terms of his stats, in terms of his stats, when fully extremes he awakened at rainbow status, he's getting 19,559 HP, 18,997 attack, which is a lot, and also 13,037 defense, which is also quite significant, so when you pair that with the additional defense he's getting, um, he's going to be very tanky. He's going to be a really tanky unit, and he's also going to be hitting quite hard while still providing, you know, this amazing support. And um, yeah, that's the EZA, guys. I'm honestly a big fan of it. I think they did an amazing job. It's one of the better EZAs we've seen recently, um, in my mind. Uh, obviously, I'll have to see him in action. I'll have to see some the numbers to know for sure but just on paper right now very impressed very very impressed i'm pretty happy with it let me know in the comments down below how you guys feel about it are you satisfied are you disappointed were you expecting more or uh are you somewhere in between but anyways guys that's gonna do it for today's video that is the agl turtles who is dropping in i think like two days maybe like a day and a half on JP and then of course eventually on global as well sometime in the future I can't wait for this guy because once again he is a support that I always want to bring on like every team is available on but a lot of times if I'm taking on one of the harder events I just can't because he really sucked on defense and now he won't with the easy a so that's gonna be great um, anyways that's it guys, thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all my latest content. And uh, until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Video, signing out.